Eight of our men are on death row in Qatar. Sir, uh, my first question. Do you think we can get them back? Well, let me put it this way. I don't expect them to be executed. But uh, even if the death sentence is uh, sort of uh, removed, reversed, there will be X years of imprisonment. So it's not a question of getting them back tomorrow. We have to work hard to get uh, pardon from the Amir. And then, as I said, once the death sentence is reversed, there will be X years of imprisonment. And uh, maybe some time will have to spend in jail in Qatar. But after that, we have a treaty with Qatar, which says that uh, a Qatari national uh, jailed in India can go to Qatar and spend uh, the jail sentence in Qatar. So it's the same thing applies to an Indian national in Qatar. So, you know, so we can get them back. But most important thing is to get the death sentence reversed. And, and, and why is it all a secret? Why is all of this a secret? Nobody is talking about it. Nobody wants to say why, what exactly happened. Well, this is a very sensitive matter of spying for a third country. We don't know which country, but reports, some reports say it was for Israel. We don't know. But as regards the secrecy, I suppose the families might have been told by our government not to, you know, speak to the media and all that. And uh, Qatar may not have any incentive to talk in public about it. Why should they? The CEO of this company called Dara is, is an Omani and he is left uh, free and uh, while Indians are, are arrested. Why is that? Well, no, he is not left free. He was also in uh, uh, imprisoned, but now he is free because he may have been, uh, you know, sort of the top, but uh, I don't think he was a naval person. You know what I mean? So this okay. is a naval matter, as you know, uh, it is, uh, um, after all, this company was giving, uh, up uh, skilling up the, the Qatari Navy, uh, in particular in regard to some uh, midget submarines, you know, inducting these submarines into the Navy. Uh, submarines are from, uh, from Italy. So he may or may not have been, you know, involved in it you know our government has been trying to uh, defend our officers our former officers for the last one year so which makes me believe that our former officers are innocent otherwise why would our country defend them so if that is the case why did we fail in defending them well let me sort of uh, comment on that it is our consular responsibility to defend our nationals when they are abroad even if they have done something wrong, okay, we still provide them as much protection as we can. So just because we are giving them protection, it doesn't follow that they are innocent. They may be innocent. I'm not saying they are not, nor am I saying they are. All that I'm saying is that because we have given them protection or consular assistance, it doesn't follow they are innocent. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shots in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.